I told Liam, Papa, ciao, in my language, Papa, and he also did Papa, and and now uh, slowly, slowly, he started to look in the eyes. So can you please tell me, uh, what's your name, where you're from, and what brought you to the clinic? Uh, I'm from Macedonia. Uh, the Aris Ibayat is my name, and uh, I came here from my autistic child, my autistic son. And uh, yeah, I did the first therapy in February. And uh, from that day that he did the therapy, it's almost for 15% changed for good. Uh, because with the eating, with the sleep, and uh, it's less aggressive, uh, less hyperactive. This is uh, the first thing, the first thing good for me. And uh, can you tell me what were the symptoms before coming to the clinic? How it manifested during the day and how it, how it manifested right now? Yeah, uh, the, before therapy, uh, Liam was, um, how I say, not understanding guy and uh, he, he doesn't look in the eye when I called him, he doesn't respond. And uh, now it's all, all good when I call him, he turned the head, he looked in the eyes, understands better. In the school is uh, always uh, understanding and so, yeah. And how, how old is he? Uh, seven years. And when, when he was uh, diagnosed? Uh, from two years. From two years. Yeah. And the symptoms were the same or it's, uh, they were changed uh, during the time? Uh, when Liam was born, I would say he was like normal mm -hmm. uh, because I, I didn't know that uh, this autism exists for real. And when Liam turned around two years, I saw that uh, he has no interest for nothing and uh, didn't sleep well. He was so kind in, uh, how would I say, in uh, his own world. Like he, he has no mother, no father, like nothing. But uh, with the time passed, I sent him in uh, speech therapies, some other therapies in Switzerland. But uh, not really with uh, positive results. And then I heard from uh, Swiss Medica and uh, here in Beograd. And yeah, I called, I made an appointment and I came here. And uh, how did you know about stem cells? I read it on the internet. You, so you just Google it specifically? Just, I Google it, what can I do something for autism? For autism and you found stem and cells. I found, well, luckily, I found uh, Swiss Medica mm. stem cell therapy and I was uh, so curious to read about that. And when did you <coughs> find information about, about uh, the stem cells? Bec because you came on February. On February? I found it uh, last year on uh, Liam's birthday on February. But uh, 2020, I will say, or 20, yeah, uh, I found uh, because uh, I was so upset why nothing helped. And so, yeah, I found this. So, and uh, three years uh, has gone and you decided to Yes. <laughs> and probably you have some kind of concerns and fears bef before coming uh, to the treatment because uh, there are a lot of different information about stem cells since it's not clear whether it's worth to try, whether it could, is it uh, harmful for a kid or not. So a lot of probably things that were obstacles for you. Can you specify about it? What were your obstacles? Uh, yes, uh, I never do something to hurt my child, but I always uh, hear my instincts. So if I stay in one place, I cannot help my child. But if I try something, I hope that don't hurt, but I know that uh, this don't gonna hurt at all because it's not something with the um, operation, what I say, it's just a stem cell. And I heard a lot of people, I saw the videos from here and I thought, why not to try and so. And why have you chosen Swiss Medica? What have you, what you have you heard or seen about Swiss Medica that you decided to? The medicine in Serbia uh, was always the best, I think. 
And uh, yeah, I decided to come here because uh, I know from my older parents that always say when a sick person was in another place, I always bring him in Serbia or something. Turkey is also good. Russia is far away from me and then I decided to come here in Beograd. And have you considered uh, different clinics except our clinic? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Have you talked to your pediatrician, to your doctor about uh, trying stem cells? Yeah. And what I was the response? I talked to my doctor's son and uh, he was like in shock because he don't know what what is this. and. I was really confused at that moment because I, I said how one doctor don't know this kind of uh, therapy or medicine and uh, I talked with the other um, doctor in Thierry and uh, he was older one and he told me about this but he said we never tried this and I don't know how functional it is and then yes I decided to not ask anyone just mm -hmm. myself mm -hmm. and I came here and uh, I'm so glad I'm so happy and how was the procedure uh, in the clinic because uh, kids very afraid of doctors needles and stuff like that uh, yeah with Liam uh, we give uh, some kind of uh, a little sedation yeah sedation and uh, yeah all uh, everything was uh, perfect everything went good yeah with Liam also so you mentioned about the improvement, yes. Yeah. Uh, and what's your general um, uh, feedback about the clinic, staff, doctors, food? I don't know. Oh, if you tell me about 10, 10, I will give 100. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. because everything, uh, I felt like my home. Nice. And uh, yeah, the doctors all and uh, like all my sisters, my brothers here, yeah, like a family. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, that I will say, I will come also next year for the next therapy. And you came uh, just for a checkup or you had some kind of infusions? Yes, no, I came for the checkup because I don't have so much time to stay here. Today I will go and uh, I will come. So I said next year for the next therapy. I yeah. think I will do it again with the stem cells. After the therapy, when you noticed first improvements? I will say from uh, after five uh, weeks. After five weeks? Yeah, okay. after five weeks, uh, I told Liam, Papa, tell in my language, Papa, and he also did Papa. And then I understand uh, that here is something to do with Liam. And now, uh, slowly, slowly, he started to look in the eyes and yeah, after f five weeks. Have you felt that your life as uh, the mother changed a little bit? Because yes, of course. Can you tell a little bit more how, how you felt, how it's changed? Uh, now that Liam has another brother and uh, I always uh, said um, how it's good to be brother together, to understand each other. And uh, before the therapy, Liam uh, did not love his brother, I will say, because love, Liam don't know what is love. And uh, now it's all okay because he wants to share something with his brother. And for me, it's uh, more uh, important that. And uh, yeah, Liam know who I am. If, he's, if he saw me from a far away, he recognized me. Uh, the, uh, this thing was not before, but now is, and that's I think is more important for me. The other things, that's very yeah, good. <laughs> that's less important. But the most important is Liam to know his family, and to start to understand something about that, and slowly we go. After the therapy, it. So to, now today is August. Uh, you've been on February. February, yeah. Uh, do you see? Do you notice some probably decrease in his condition, or vice versa, increased, or it's the same? It's it stays stable. It's it stays stable. No, it's. Uh, I will say uh, every time it's uh, increased something. It's uh, happened something new with Liam. Like, no, Liam was uh, in the same weight for, for seven years, I will say. Uh, it was 20, 20, 20, just 20. 
but now it's uh, seven. Um, how will I say? It's uh, 28, 29. The weight uh, grown up uh, more like uh, the age of Liam because he was so slim. So uh, that I think uh, the therapy helped in this case. And uh, what does he go to ordinary school or to the special no, school? No, he go in special school. It's uh, called High. Uh, Michael Schule, Halbpädagogisch. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's a teacher, uh, three teachers in one class with six uh, kids. And this helps Liam too much because Liam there makes ergotherapy, the speech therapy, and uh, yeah, the other things. So in that school. And what did the teachers told about the. Did they not see the difference of the? Uh, they saw difference, but I I didn't tell them that I will come here because I wanted to see what they will tell me, and with not knowing that I did a therapy for Liam, and when the teacher calls me that uh, I'm so surprised that Liam has screamed his name in the table uh, uh, because he recognized the the numbers and something like that and he chose exactly his name so and then i made an appointment with the teachers and i told him about this and she was wow it's it's a lot a big surprise for them yeah happy to hear that yeah <laughs> uh if you would like to say something additional you feel free to say anything if if you don't want to say anything so we finished <laughs> yeah it's uh, I hope if uh, some mother has like uh, the problem like me with, with his child, I tell her to prove these things because it's not as bad, it's not hurting. So I, yeah, I trust in these things. So thank you very much. <laughs> so, thank you very much. Thank you That's too. it.